Good morning, love. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm very excited. I'm gonna show you my new studio apartment. So I'm gonna give you like a before tour today. It's very exciting because it is my first official apartment in Paris. Like, I don't know how many apartments I've had in Paris, how many different places I've stayed since I came for the first time in February, but this is the first one that is actually mine. So I have my name on the post box and everything. It's really, really exciting. And I'm also going to talk to you about some books as well, which again, very excited about. This vlog is sponsored by Short Form, but I will talk more about them later. For now, I'm gonna start by going way, way back. I'm gonna show you this apartment that I'm renting back in, I think it's like May, June, when my landlords actually bought it. So this is what it was like as like a, a shell. You walk through the front door and there's a little room to the left. So this was the kitchen. Nobody had lived in this place, I think for about five years. It's quite a sad story actually. There was a couple that lived here and they both died and had no one to, to leave it to. So it went to the state of France and then it was auctioned off. I absolutely love the pink. I love that fireplace in the corner. They've changed so much, like you'll, you'll see what they, um, what they actually did with it soon. So that's the main room. And then there's this room, which has now been turned into the, uh, turned into the bedroom. And that's the little view. From outside, so this is a staircase which I kind of love. There's no lift and it is on the fourth floor. But basically I'm gonna give you exactly the same tour, but this is what it's like now. And I just think they've done the best, oh, I think the shoes behind the door. I think they've done the best job with it. Um, Ivan and Cynthia, my landlord, it's actually their sister-in-law that helped them quite a lot with the interior design and the, um, you know, the architect side of it. So where the main room was, that has now been turned into a bathroom. So you've got a heated shower rail, you've got the shower. I put some eucalyptus in there. I'm obsessed with these pink tiles. I think they're so, so pretty. And then you've got sink unit in there, cute little mirror, but everything's like brand new. I'm not usually a colour person, as you know, but I kind of, I do love the, um, the pink and green. Where's Hope gone? Hope! Where'd she go? Hope? Hey! Hope, we don't live down there. Come on! She just thinks she owns the whole building. Hope, come on! <laughs> Let's get the squeaky toy. Squeaky toy will bring her back. Watch this. There <laughs> she comes. <laughs> come on! Come on! <laughs> She's back. Okay. Yeah, so this is the main the main room. So the fireplace that was there, that's now been taken out. Obviously, I love the bookshelves that have been uh, <laughs> that have been put in there. The table that's been put in is vintage, as is the chair. Hope's got her own little Hope's got her own little station, and then the kitchen is now here so they've rearranged they've rearranged the whole thing i have so many plans for this place i'll put up very quickly the interior personal style board that i did in the Substack interior personal style masterclass that i did which i'll also leave a link to because if you want to watch that back to create your own mood board you can do 
But just to give you an idea, this is my like inspiration, my vision that, you know, this is what I'm going to be aiming for. But I basically have, I have everything I need and I'm just so grateful that everything's brand new and it's super, super clean. And it's, I mean, you've seen the, you saw my last place. This is spacious <laughs> compared to, compared to where I was living before. And the main room now looks like this. So again, I took the fireplace out. The windows were replaced, so they are now PVC, brand new. And look, I have, I, I have my own bedroom. <laughs> and I just feel so, so grateful for it. Again, everything's brand new, so I'm so grateful. Like no one else had slept in in the bed or anything, it's all, it's all mine, it's all brand new. The mirror here was the first thing that I, that I bought when, uh, when I moved in. It is from, because I know lots of you are going to ask, it's from Maison du Monde and yeah, I'm absolutely, uh, absolutely obsessed with it. I'll just plant that I was gifted when I first came to Paris, they're doing really well, they're here. I did change the curtains, um, yeah, just a bit, a bit girlier, a bit more, a little bit more feminine. I had a really clear vision of how like, I wanted to wake up in my, on my first morning in my apartment in Paris, and it was, I wanted like all fresh, brand new bedding, I wanted linen bedding again, I wanted my silk pillowcases again, I wanted linen curtains again, like I was used to having back in the UK. So I set to work to um, to bring that vision to life and yeah, really, really, really glad that I did. It's making, it's making progress, making progress already, but there are definitely things that I want to, that I want to do to it. The little table to the side, again, that's a vintage piece that came with, that came with the place. And this is what we're looking at for now. The wardrobes. I'm also open to ideas. Like if you're seeing things and like, oh, Jess, you should do this. Maybe you should do that. Please let me know in the comments. So nice to have wardrobes. It's not organized yet properly. But again, we all know what I was dealing with before. I'm going to make a proper vlog about how I organize my wardrobe so that we can do it together. But come on, like this is progress, right? I have, I have a wardrobe, I have all my stuff out. It's not hiding away in a cave anymore. I'm very, very pleased with that. Super, super pleased. But I have got plans for these, uh, these bedroom doors. And that's about it. There you have it. That's what we're. Uh, that's what we're living with. That's what we're looking at. For now, show you outside because this is really, really cool. So it actually looks so. I'm um, again. I just feel so grateful to have green outside my window in Paris. Um, so this used to be. A railway line obviously it's not used anymore um, but apparently it's actually the inspiration for the high line in new york if you've ever been to new york you've seen it um it's one of my favorite things that i've ever done in new york so that's really cool to know and you see people you see people walking on it now and then um but yeah it's, it's really really nice and then you do have some nice you've got some nice parisian buildings like down here which is uh, which is lovely to see but I am very very grateful for this little little slither of nature outside my window sorry it's just uh, it's a bit warm in here it gets really really warm really really quick as I said at the beginning this vlog is sponsored by short form short form provide summaries for non-fiction books very high powered concise summaries um, they cover topics like money self-development relationships all sorts of different things 
I really enjoy short form to read. It helps me to read more and it helps me to not waste my time. I love that you have a choice. You can either actually read the thing, read the summary, or you can listen as well. Um, it's really, really clever in that they've now started to use AI as well. So they're providing summaries for articles on the internet and even YouTube videos. If you want to find out more about short form and start a free trial or you want 20% off a subscription to short form, I will leave a link to that and the code in the description for this video. The books that I have been loving personally, I'm going to start with this one, You Were Born For This, which is non-fiction. I have both versions of this book. I absolutely adore it. It is Astrology for Radical Self-Acceptance. It's written by Chani Nichols, who I adore online. She has a really cool app. I love her Instagram account. She is like my go-to person in terms of astrology. This is I just love it. Like, if you're into astrology, you're going to love, love, love this book. It doesn't just go through sun signs, it goes through your rising sign, it goes through your moon sign, it goes through where your Venus is, all the houses. Like, it, it explains your birth chart so clearly and in terms of your purpose for life. So, what it is that you are here to do. And it's, yeah, it's, it's freakishly accurate. I found it. If you've read this, please, please let me know. Also, out of interest, like I ask this question to everyone. Let me know in the comments what your sun sign is, what your star sign is, and if you know your moon sign and your rising sign, please let me know. I would love to know, like if there's any kind of theme in our, in our community. Um, for anyone wondering, I am Aquarius sun, Libra rising, and Aries moon. But this book, yeah, it just, it really, really helped me in terms of coming, coming home to myself, figuring out more about myself. Oops. Um, yeah, I found it, I found it really, really interesting. I love astrology. I, yeah, I find it really, really fun. I love talking about it with people. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed reading this. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. Second book I have listened to as opposed to actually read and it is Good Material by Dolly Alderton which you've probably seen all over the place like the campaign for this book has been insane. It's so good. It's a novel, it's fiction, it's about heartbreak but it's very unique. It's about heartbreak, but it's being written from the male perspective, which for me, I found absolutely fascinating. I've never read anything like it before. And I've listened to Dolly talk about her process around writing this book and how she interviewed quite a lot of guys about what heartbreak is actually like for them. And she just, she documents it so cleverly it's so funny it's so relatable I absolutely loved it if you've read it and you need someone to talk about this book with please let me know I will happily just yeah dive into all the talk around it I listened to it in the space of I think a weekend like I just binged it um, it's so so funny and it's so so relatable it's written um, again it's from the perspective of a guy but it's a guy in his 30s so I think he's like 33 34 and I absolutely hated him in the beginning I was like I hate this guy I couldn't stand him and then by the end I was just oh, head over heels in love with him so so empathetic towards him and it really helped me yeah, just, it got, it, you know, I think it's so easy to think that guys don't, I, I tend to think this, like, guys, they just don't, they don't feel anything, they're not, you know, they're not bothered, they don't care, um, so, yeah, I love the way that Dolly's thrown a whole new, a whole new perspective on that typical female way of thinking, and it's just, it's just a great, great listen, it's so well written, as I said, it's so funny, I think you'd really enjoy it. The third one that I want to share with you is Tom Lake, 
by Anne Patchett, who is one of my all-time favourite writers. Her writing is really, really special to me. My favourite book of hers is This is a Story of a Happy Marriage, which is actually non-fiction. It's like mini essays about life through, through her lens. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful book. This is fiction. It is a love story. I'm all about love stories at the minute. I think because my next book is going to be fiction and it is a love story. I'm very into reading about, you know, how other authors are um, are doing it. But yeah, her, her writing is just so beautiful. It's very, it's simple but poetic at the same time. This I am really, really enjoying. Um, just to give you an idea. This is a story about Peter Duke who went on to be a famous actor. This is a story about falling in love with Peter Duke, who wasn't famous at all. It's about falling so wildly in love with him, the way one will at 24, that it felt like jumping off a roof at midnight. There was no way to foresee the mess it would come to in the end. It's really, really clever. I love how it plays on time as well. That's one of my favorite um, ways of telling, telling stories. I love it when a narrative jumps from like back, forwards, present I love that and it does that and it does it really really well it's just a beautiful novel if you're going to listen to it I uh, who's narrated it it's someone really famous it's someone like Meryl Streep or something in someone insanely famous like that um I'm reading it and yes I would highly recommend it as um as a novel last one is another audio book that I have listened to it's by Esther Perel it's Mating in Captivity. Esther Perel is one of my favourite people on the internet and one of my favourite people to learn about relationships and love from. She is a qualified like, couples therapist. She's a qualified therapist anyway, but she specialises um, in, in couples. And her Mating in Captivity is basically everything that she has learnt from her years and years and years of, of practice. So she talks a lot about attraction, she talks about lust, she talks about love, she talks about the difference between the two, she talks about fidelity, infidelity, and um, you know whether monogamy is realistic, whether it's possible, how to keep like relationships very spicy, very alive, but in a in a realistic kind of way. It, it really, really blew my mind and it educated me a, a lot and I found it really, really useful. And I'm single, so <laughs> if you are, if you're married or in a couple and you're interested in relationships, then you will definitely, definitely find it, find it useful. But I loved it. Again, I devoured it very, very quickly. I love everything, everything that she does. Again, she's someone that I would recommend um, following on Instagram as well. So they're the book roundups. Thank you to Short Form for sponsoring this vlog. As I said, I will leave a link to a 20% discount code for them. And if you want to go and find out more and also the link to the free trial as well. Before I finish, I want to let you know that a slow and simple vlogmas will be happening à Paris. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a slow and simple vlogmas. So it will start on the 2nd of December. You will see my face this year, which is better, I think. <laughs> yeah, be different, be different to last year. I'm really, really excited about it. I've never been in Paris at Christmas time before, so I'm really excited to experience it with you through our usual daily vlog ritual tradition whatever you want to call it if you have any requests anything specific that you want to see that you want me to cover please let me know in the comments because i am currently planning out the um the vlog but yes that is starting so i will be i'll be seeing you very very soon for that i hope that you're okay I hope you're not getting too overwhelmed with all the um, all the Christmas stuff. We've been talking about that quite a lot on uh, Substack recently, but I will be here. I'll be here to to hold your hand through um, through December with a slow and simple vlogmas. Daily vlogs will be back. Thank you for watching this. Let me know what you think to the apartment. Dying to hear. Let me know if you've got any ideas. Let me know your astrology signs. 
can't wait to read those. And yeah, I hope you're okay and I will, I'll see you soon.